Enrollment for Obamacare begins this Saturday. Did you know that? November 15th. Are you ready? We are joined by the foremost authority on Obamacare, the author of Beating Obamacare. This is Betsy McCoy. Betsy, McCoy. Betsy um, you say this is the perfect storm for repeal of Obamacare. Go that's, through the elements. That's please. right. Well, first of all, open enrollment begins this Saturday. Yep. That's far later than it was supposed to be, but the administration anticipating more problems with their healthcare.gov website and the whole enrollment process delayed enrollment until after the election. They didn't want it to hurt uh, so Obamacare they, supporting candidates. So if you want to be covered by, in January, you must sign up in, the, in that four-week period. And, and December 15th. That's right. It's, it's a much shorter enrollment. Problems? They are expecting pro uh, problems, not the front-end problems they had last year. You're going to be able to see the plans this time. But the back-end problems, will your insurance company or the one you want to be insured with actually get your information? It's like going up to Bloomingdale's.com and you see those shoes you want, but will they ever actually arrive? in the mail. Okay, so we've right. got this enrollment period. You don't think it's going to go that well, which will give the Republicans fodder to demand repeal. Next item. Next item. Right after the new year, in fact, it's already beginning, people are going to start receiving cancellation notices, not from their insurance company, from their employer. Millions of people who get on-the-job coverage and their employers buy it in the small group market, they're going to be told they're not going to get coverage on the job anymore because the current plan is not renewable. It's not open. Obamacare compliant. So suddenly they're going to be pushed into these Obamacare exchanges where they're going to be paying with after-tax dollars and have much higher deductibles and they will not be happy. Perfect storm for repeal. You got that? Next one. The Supreme Court. Now they've announced uh, that they're going to challenge, they're going to hear a challenge the Obamacare subsidy structure. Oh, it's right here, Stuart, section 1401. <laughs> it looks like a boarding pass. That's right. Boarding. It is, but I marked it with my old boarding pass. And here's what it says. It says that if you want to sign up for an Obamacare plan on an exchange, you can get a subsidy provided you go to a state exchange. The state exchanges are the ones authorized under this law to grant subsidies to consumers to make these plans look affordable. Okay, hold on a second. You've met laid out three elements in a repeal scenario. But okay, you go through all of them. It oh, all this, no, but, 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 I know there's more, but the, if the Republicans submit a total repeal bill, the president will veto it. You know that. They're going to submit bills to repeal the job-killing employer mandate, the freedom-killing individual mandate. He's not going to veto them. I'll tell you why. He's not going to veto all of them because some sections of this law are so unpopular that Democrats who have to run again in two years are going to put a lot of pressure on this president to make a deal. So, so many things go through Congress. The president has to sign some of them. That's right. And, that, and does, especially does that with it? a June decision looming that will literally make this this uh, health plan unaffordable in 36 states out of 50. I think you made your point there. Uh... <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. Good stuff, Betsy.